For those of you who don't know, in Avengers Infinity War, Captain America isn't Captain America. He's just Steve Rogers wearing uh, some messed up suit that he used to wear in Civil War and worn that ever since in Secret Wars. Because people have been stating that he's been doing a Secret War. So, uh, anyway. Um, so, let's get right into the video. So, Steve Rogers used, uh, used two uh, Wakandan gauntlet shields. And after that, he didn't use it. At all in Avengers Endgame. Then he finally got his shield back somewhere to when um, the time heist was about to begin. And after this, let's just say that he got the stones, he got the stones, he made a new gauntlet, Hulk snapped his fingers, the ba final battle was beginning with only three of the Avengers fighting Thanos. One of them was knocked out, the other one was, was, was gonna get killed, and the other one was still standing holding Mjolnir, and, the sh and a piece of the shield got broken by Caps, I mean, no, Thanos' uh, sword. So, what is the sword made out of? And what is the sword? Well, we do know that it's Thanos' sword, but where did he get it? Well, first let's go over to the images and analyze what it looks like. Well, for starters, it's a double-edged uh, sword. Well, not exactly, since it's on both sides. It's not exactly uh, on both sides, but it is a double-edged sword. It, it's only designed to hold with only one hand, and it's not designed to hold with two hands. So, you holding it with two hands is impossible. Unless you do it in some way, I'm not sure. But anyway, where did he get this sword? And what is it made out of? Well, first let's talk about where did he get it somewhere early in the MCU. Well, for starters, we do know that he didn't get it in the early in the MCU. Avengers Endgame is just making us believe that. But let's just go ahead and break that rule and say that he did get it, and it was just never shown to us because they never showed, made a movie for Thanos, somewhere to in uh, Phase 2. So anyway, where did he go to do it? Well, where did he go to get the Infinity Gauntlet? Well, this was before he got the Infinity Gauntlet. Out the kindness of his heart, he begged for Eitri. Just in theory, he begged for Eitri to exactly give him a double-edged sword. Made out of Uru. Then, a few days ago, after figuring out the Infinity Stones and how to contain them within one part of his body, he comes back, forces him, tells him that um, he'll kill all of his people except for you. He makes the gauntlet, he makes the gauntlet, and then there you go. So, for those of you who don't know, which you guys should, Uru is a special metal that is the strongest metal in all of the galaxy, not just on Earth but all of the galaxy, okay? So because of this, it's pretty much unbreakable. You can't break it. Well, Scarlet Witch was able to break it, but I don't want to make that theory yet. So anyway, so anyway, he was able to use this sword to not only go to, not only hold back Iron Man's um, repulsor beams on um, when he engaged in Thanos Buster, and not only he was able to use it to, um, wait, what else did he use it for? Anyway, let's just get back to it. So, yes, it's made out of Uru. It's you. It it's the most powerful um metal of all time. It's able to not only absorb energy, but it can also handle energy. So that's why it's so strong. That's exactly what it's made out of. So let's go back to Capsule. Captain America's shield is made out of vibranium, which was, I believe, is the only, um, which was, is the only place on Earth you can get vibranium, since it was never shown nowhere else on, in the universe from Guardians of the Galaxy or anywhere else that has something to do with space, so, okay, so, on Earth, vibranium is the strongest metal in Earth, on Earth, so, in light of this, no one can break it, no one, so, how did... Thanos used the sword to break it. Well, first let's analyze Captain America and Thor's uh, first encounter towards each other. Cap wanted him to uh, put the hammer down. He did, but he used it by putting the hammer down on Cap. He used the shield, and the entire area was knocked down, knocked over. I'm pretty sure um, Iron Man was thrown somewhere after that shock, and Thor was too, but I think Cap was okay. So... When he, so when Thanos used his uh, sword 
it's very likely the reason why he was able to use it is because it was sharp. The Uru was sharp, while Mjolnir was a hammer, and it has no sharp ends or sharp beginnings. No worse sharp. So, maybe Mjolnir can be used for a powerful surge of energy from the gods, from the thunder, but as for the sword, it can't be used for that type of energy. But it can be used to destroy, um, to show us that uh, Uru can in fact destroy uh, Vibranium. So there you have it. This is why Thanos' sword was able to break his, um, um, was able to break Captain America's shield. Because it was sharp, it's made out of Uru, can contain magic, and there you have it. So, with that out of the way, that that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share your friends and family, hit subscribe for more great content, and leave me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the video itself. My name is Kevin, and I look forward to hearing from you.